I wanted to make this video because I got a comment recently telling me how I convinced someone not to use Blender and that's simply because I didn't give enough context in the video they commented on. So a while back I made one of my most viewed videos and that's how to make all of the platonic solids in geometry nodes. There's a couple issues with this video. I didn't know that we could pull in different objects or different collections from our scene, which means I made all of the platonic solids only using geometry nodes. In fact, that was kind of the thesis of that video. That's a dumb way to do this. It's interesting. It's a fun thought experiment, which is why I've not gotten rid of it. I think there are a lot of interesting techniques in there. I think there's a lot that you can still learn from it, but it's not good if you're just trying to efficiently make a scene. Following that, I made a video talking about the tetrahedron and all of the craziness that I went through to make it in the first video that I didn't elaborate on. I felt like I needed to elaborate on it. I didn't, but I learned through making that video how important it is that I give more context. So I've been trying to give more context. However, I still didn't know that we could just reference other objects in our scene. I just didn't know this at the time, so I made it sound like you have to do all of this complicated stuff to make the tetrahedron in that video. You don't. <laughs> you just, you just don't. So later on, once I made this realization, I made another video talking about how to use the asset browser with geometry nodes to make our own nodes and save them, and then also make all of the platonic solids by hand, save them in your scene, reference them in the geometry nodes so you have a node that you can switch through all of the solids, what have you, what have you, what have you. It's a decent video. I tried to link to that one instead of the others because the others are just bad. So, flash forward to now, I get a comment telling me how that's complicated just to make a tetrahedron. There's an easy way to make a tetrahedron. You do not have to use geometry nodes for this. I used geometry nodes for this because I was missing context. I also didn't share enough context in either of those previous videos. So, today I want to tell you how to make all the platonic solids, the literal simplest way in Blender, as well as how to get a bunch of other objects that are just super handy and useful. So, hi, yes, hello everyone, I'm Gavin.js, let's hop into it. So what we need to do is start by adding the extra objects add-on. If you don't know how to do add-ons, it's super simple. This one comes with Blender. What we're going to do is go up to the edit menu, then go down to preferences, and then select add-ons. Specifically, we'll need to look for the extra objects add-on. Once we've enabled this add-on, we'll be able to hit shift A to add a new object to our scene, and then we'll have a whole slew of additional options under the mesh menu. Now our solids are a little bit hidden because I guess that's just not the uh, number one thing that this add-on does. I don't know, it's the most important thing in my opinion, but I'm biased. So we're gonna go down to our math functions and under our math functions, we'll see an option for regular solids. That's what we want. And it'll give us this little menu in the bottom left-hand corner or if you've moved it around wherever it is, uh, that'll allow us to select between all of the different solids as well as a few other different parameters, all things that I wanted to make videos on how to make. Like, this is why I made a truncation video. This is why I was working on UVs. and All the things that go along with the solids in the pure geometry sort of realm. Anyway, we can select whatever solid we want and then we can just use that. So, if you want the platonic solids, you don't care about how they're made, you don't want to deep dive into geometry, this is how you should do it. Otherwise, have fun playing around in geometry nodes. I know I did. It was a great learning experience. I do think that there's a lot of value to be had in those old videos, but I'm going to do my best to link to this one and the one on the asset library because th these two videos, these are the ones that you're going to want to follow if you're just trying to make things in Blender. The older ones, don't watch those. I, I might even unlist them, honestly, because like they're just causing confusion and I don't want confusion. I'd rather take a hit from the algorithm than mislead you all. So on that note, uh, happy blending. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.